Hey y'all, this is me. So, um, they were playing. I was going around cleaning up the yard before I, I filmed. And um, they were playing at that time, but naturally now that I'm done, they're not doing anything. So my neighbor's dogs are outside. And um, Jack, she'll go over there by the fence and start crying she wants to play. But uh, Kratos has actually no interest in the dogs over there, which is interesting. Okay, let's see if I can tie them into play, but otherwise, um, ah, boring this is. Y'all behave. Right, I was walking this way to get to this ball over here, but if they are gonna start playing, I do want to get it. No video stabilization on these videos, so they're gonna be as crappy as my walking is. Ooh, or I'm like Dante, I guess. Set the ball, just wait for the missus to notice. I mean, Kratos will come over here too, but he's not gonna chase it. So. Jack is not noticing anything. What are you doing, little man? There's a little pond here that I'm covering up because, first of all, it's, it's actually pretty deep. Second of all, I don't actually want it there. I'll probably end up taking it out. Um, but I wanted to cover up so the, the babies wouldn't get into it. I have more for, you know, when it was cold outside. But, you know, it works now. There's none of them not this one. Which is something I'll be doing. I'll have to get the money for it. But um, there is a little pool. Uh, it's further in like in Chicago land uh, area. But they offer swimming lessons to dogs. And um, I decided I was, was going to do take both of them at the same time. Simply because um, it's just cheaper to do it that way than to do it you know, two separate times. I mean, it might separate might work. Simply because, um, you know... If Kratos can see jacking in the water, fine. You know, he might be more inclined to go ahead and do it. Do it, But, you know, we're just going to, you know, do it that way. But that's still probably a long ways off just simply because um, um, there's other expenses that I need to take care of. <laughs> so when I get the money for it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. things I want to talk about <clears throat> is just uh it's just some behavior that I've seen I mean you guys aren't really seeing it here um they're simply playing but I will say that um they've been getting into little spats more often lately and it's tunes being rude honestly that would have been rude with any other dog but Jack plays literally the same way so enough so that was tunes getting a little bit pumped but um and for absolutely no reason start of his play technically he initiated it by doing exactly what he's doing now so but anyway i said that they're getting a little bit pumped more often as you guys can see okay jack corrected that oh, look at here his tail was up okay it's not up anymore but Craig says the thing with him is that his tail is usually not up. Jack's tail's up all the time. Craig's tail usually isn't. So that was interesting. 
But anyway, they're, um, you know, they're getting older. Rachel, like I said, is a dominant dog. So he is trying to, um, you know, I'm, like I said, I, I don't, maybe I said this, I'm not sure. Regardless, I'm not sure who's watching these videos. You guys might have some other videos. Um, they're trying to figure out their place in the pack. Uh, they're still very young. I said, uh, Craig Chills is four months. Jack will be seven months and ten days. Um, so they're, you know, still fairly young. Um, but they're just trying to figure out their place in the pack together. Because, that, you know, at first they were just playmates. Um, but now as they're getting older, um, at least more mature on, on Jack's. I mean, Craig Chills is getting mature too. But, um, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out their place in the pack. Um, <laughs> Jack stole it. And that comes off in little spats. So, um, you know, I do want to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand. I'm not too, too worried about it because they both, they both are young. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, they're just going to get bigger. Well, Kratos is just going to get bigger. Um, and Jack, and, you know, when, when she hits her heat cycle, she's also going to, um, you know, just feel a different way about her place in the, in the pack, you know. Um, she's technically as my alpha female. I have no other females in my house. Um, and... Kratos will be my alpha male. I mean, technically, he's he's already above Paco, my little Chihuahua, simply because my little Chihuahua is very non-confrontational. Um, he does not like interacting with the dogs at all. He wants them to let leave him alone, and in turn, he'll leave them alone. So, um, you know, besides the fact that he wants them to stay off his face, Paco would rather move out the way than kind of, you know, defend his position. Um, so, you know, he's been a non, you know, combatant since the beginning of Kratos being here. Therefore, um, I think that, um, sorry, my allergies. Therefore, I think that, you know, um, it's not going to be an issue. I still do think they're, they're going to be posturing. When I had Jack and, uh, just Jack and Paco, and it's just the, uh, those two, uh, Jack did the same thing, you know, tell up, trying to kind of control where he, where Paco would walk, um, and try to get, it was, tr would try to get Paco to submit. Now, I've never seen Paco submit for anybody, um, in the sense of, like, <sighs> sorry, the wind. So, Paco will submit in the sense of, like, okay, if you want this, he's just going to walk away. Um, you know, if you want the space, he's going to move out the way. Um, so long as you don't corner him, actually, but I've never seen him kind of lay down and submit, you know, lay on his side, kind of, you know, show his belly to any other dog. He's never done that, so I don't know if that will happen, but long story, you know, I'm not going to really let the other dogs bully him in that sense, because I said... Paco is very non-confrontational, so there's really no reason for him, for them to try to throw their weight around with Paco, but I don't know, um, you know, I'm not an expert, I, you know, I, I do try to know a bit, okay, gross little boy, I do try to know a bit, that was a big butter boy, <clears throat> but I'm not an expert or anything, so, <clears throat> They seem like the sticks in the yard more than like their toys. See? Now, Mrs. always has her tail up, so, um, I mean, okay, <laughs> not now, of course, but ordinarily when she's outside when she's playing, her tail's always up. Which is cool. Um, but basically, I, I really can't tell. Well, I, I can tell when she's trying to dominate when she's just you know just being herself this right here she's not trying to dominate she's just uh, I don't know what she's doing she might need to use the bathroom <sighs> you guys are being real boring and Craig just let her have it hello be up oh, rude rude See if I can find. I don't know what they would play with. Uh. Oh, as long as you actually reach for the toy. There we go. Kratos is just starting to be a little bit less accepting of the things that Jack does, which is fine. 
Yeah, so I do want them to work it out between themselves. Um, but I, you know, don't want to get too, too far because, you know, you know, fighting on my, on my property. Why are this video so boring? I try to, like, come outside. Okay, pop. The little boy's peeing. I try to, um, come outside with them to play because, you know, from inside the house, they would literally just sit by the door over there and wait to come in. Um, and this is the only time they get to play. <laughs> Because, like I said, they don't, there's no playing in the house. So, um, but even outside, it's hard for them to play. Now, so I've seen Jack with this bone actually kind of let Kratos have it. And I've seen this when I've been inside the house and just watching through the cameras. Um, and I wonder if that just changes, like, when, I don't know. I mean, like I said, Jack is probably a bit hormonal. I haven't really seen it in her behavior though, which is why I'm like, I'm not entirely sure. But she should be coming on our heat cycle soon, which will make her hormon hormonal a little bit temperamental. Um, but it does seem that sometimes she allows him to have it and sometimes she doesn't. Kratos is just chilling. You guys are real boring. You know that cutie. He also really needs a bath. I mean, he's you can tell he's a white dog, but man, I don't know if the quality of my camera is good enough to actually get get the thope that he is, but Kratos is definitely an off-white. Mostly because he spends his time being rolled around in the dirt by her, by her. You guys are real boring. But yeah, I'm excited because this Monday we're going to go to the vet and get him vaccinated. Therefore, I can start taking him on walks and stuff. It'll be pretty cool once I can get them to walk together um, properly. I definitely still have a lot of work to do with him. Um, today is basically the last, the last nice day before um, I have to start working next week. So I just won't have as much time next week to take uh, them out. So basically today I'll be taking Crate Jack to the lake for sure. We are making it to the lake for sure. Sorry, allergies. I don't want it to sound like my nose is running, but it is. Anyway, um, so we'll be doing the jack, and then when I return, I will uh, be switching them out. I'll have him out here and just in the yard. We're gonna practice leash walking. Um, so he's 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 he got the um, the hang of it the first time pretty well. So we just have to kind of you know imprint the 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 training in him that okay you never pull on the leash like never ever 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 and then we'll have to get them to walk together um which will definitely be interesting because they can barely um they can barely uh yeah jack realized that that's not as cool as her her stuff anyway um, that's just gonna be, take a lot because like I said the boy like when they're together they want to play like it's very hard for them not to play when they're close together so um, but we'll work on it because I want to take them on nice walks where they're not pulling and doing a million other things but I really actually do need to take Jack into the city because she has it um, one of the things I want to do they have like a cruise downtown where you can bring your pets and Jack's definitely gonna be the first person I bring with me on that okay rude nasty. the boy's just nasty I don't know why you're not used to the, you know, I might need to adjust that because the little boy is growing fairly quickly. Um, I, I literally, this is actually a new leash that I, I mean, not new for the videos for sure, but. Hi, <laughs> cutie. Kratos. Kratos. Hi. <laughs> Hi, little boy. Hey, you good boys. Hey, you good boys. He's like, I know. No need to tell me. They're real boring. I'm sorry, y'all. I do want to get this at least 15 minutes. Um, but, anyway. But like I said, um, but they got to learn to walk together nicely, which is definitely going to be a, a, a thing. Um, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, but then we can actually start going on, um, you know, on walks. You know, on walks to different places. Which I'm fairly excited about, so, um, and I think, I think Kratos will definitely be a bit hesitant, 
but Jack is always super excited to go places, so I think with her around, he'll be more comfortable. Um, I would bring Paco because Paco loves going places too, but he's, uh, you know, he's older. Um, he's smaller, <laughs> so eventually I'm just going to carry him because he's just going to be dragging behind. And um, I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. Though, to be honest, I'm supposed to, one of the things I'm supposed to be doing is getting them fitted for, getting them both of them fitted for uh, harnesses. <coughs> Training harnesses. So you guys can see a little bit of behavior. You know, Jack's protecting it even though Kratos wasn't interested in it at all. It's kind of see your hackles raised a bit. Um, I mean, I'm going to get them hiking harnesses so I can have them start carrying things like water, um, just basic things. I'm um, also just to help them burn some energy because I'm just not going to be able to keep up with them <laughs> energy-wise on their hikes. Um, so I'm supposed to be doing that soon. But then if, once that happens, then I'll probably start bringing Paco around just so he can get outside a little bit. I'll probably carry him most of the time unless we get to a clearing because Paco's long hair and everything gets trapped in his hair. But you know, that's the plan. But you know, I got to... There, there's a lot of things that have to happen between that simply because money is a bit tight right now and um, I got to spend it wisely until I can start working and making um, you know some good money so we'll see gross little boy why you gotta lick yourself on camera this is nasty this is nasty anyway y'all I'm about to get inside uh, about to eat take a shower get ready to take Jack on a walk so see you guys later Bye.